Hey guys, and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials with Creative Final Designs. So today we're going to work on a two-tone um, ombre Halloween tumbler. So we're going to do a witch side and we're going to do a pumpkin side. And what I'm going to do today is demonstrate how we can actually spray paint the tumbler and move right into the glitter. So we don't have a wait time and we can avoid the Mod Podge and we can also avoid the Loctite adhesive spray. So what we're going to do is paint this in an ombre style um, real orange as well as I think this is called apple anyways I will make sure I have the colors properly down in the description for you guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use lime which is a pearl fine from AV designs we're also gonna use tangerine which is also a pearl fine from AV designs I will also have those links down below as well as this 30 skinny which is also from AV designs so let's go ahead and get this sprayed and then we'll be right back and I'll show you how we're going to immediately glitter right after the paint. Okay, so we're back and we have it spray painted on braid and now we're just gonna run right in with the glitter while it is still wet. I want to kind of come up at an angle just a little bit because I really don't want it to get too much onto the green just yet. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that. As you can see, I have awesome coverage. So let me just move this right on over and get to the green. I know you guys can't see just this little top part. I do apologize for that, but I'm just trying to keep it at an angle as best I can. And look at that. I mean, the ombre is literally to die for right now, guys. Check it out. Okay, I gotta get the bottom. I almost forgot about the bottom. Get a little bit of green here. All right, and I'm gonna do a little bit more of the orange. Okay, so where, right in this teeny tiny bit where it appears as though the paint already dried, that guys, that's not a big deal. We can either leave it or we can touch it up with a smidge of Mod Podge. But check this out, guys. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. I will take one more piece here. I can grab that. Here's where I'm gonna go ahead and allow them to mix ever so carefully just to make sure I have all the center. I'm not even, I don't even think I'm gonna add the green. I don't even think it's necessary. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just and keep in mind, wherever it's dry, wherever your paint is dry or where there's already glitter, you don't have to worry about it sticking. But as you can see right here, a little remnant is on the green from the orange. That's what we want. And we have a perfect ombre. And now I'm going to go ahead and let this cut dry and then I will seal it. And then I will come back in and go ahead and do the quick set glitter or the epoxy, the quick set epoxy from Glitter Craze and then it will be ready for decals. All right, stay tuned. Okay guys, and we are back and I wanted to show you on camera, even though I'm gonna do a speed on this epoxy coat, that we are going to go right in with the Glitter Craze Quick Set and I have sealed this. I sealed it very, very well. So I just wanted to show you how we're just gonna go right over this and epoxy.
Okay, so basically what I wanted to show you with this glitter paint application method was that you can easily, even if you seal just like how you would normally apply a glitter, this is super smooth, easy to work with. Now I only have to wait a couple of hours and we can start applying the decals. Okay, stand by and we'll be back soon. Okay guys, welcome back. So I wanted to explain to you what I've since done since we left off. Um, I went ahead and applied the decals to the tumbler and spray painted it. So I want you to know that I did go ahead and weed out these um, cobwebs, the spider webs, because it was very finicky. The lines um, obviously are super thin, so it did take me a few minutes and I didn't want to bore you with that and having you fast forwarded for such a long time. So what I decided to do was save the larger images um, that I have on both sides and we are gonna peel those together. So let's go ahead and jump right in so you guys can see the images that I went with. Look at how cute this is. Very simple, very easy to do. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get set up and I'm gonna come back and we're going to epoxy this together and I'm gonna use snow caps from AB Designs as well. All of the glitter used will be in the links down below in the description. All right, stay tuned. I'm gonna get set up and we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And I also want you to know I did only add just a pinch of the snow caps just to brighten up the black and have everything sparkling. I do not know if you guys can see the snow caps on this black base, but please stand by for the uh, picture montage that is going to happen because I'm going to zoom in. I want to get close ups. You guys really got to see the snow caps on this black base. It's literally absolutely incredible. It blends in with this cup so beautifully. I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for watching and thank you for the Halloween requests. Here's just a very, very simple, easy beginner tumbler in which you can do for Halloween. Again, please stay tuned for the video, uh, the picture montage at the end. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and 
subscribe for more tutorials coming soon.